Hey everybody, Brett from Astartes Gaming here, back with another episode of our Warhammer 40k Gladius Relics of War Let's Play, where uh, in our Space Marine playthrough, things are kind of winding to a close. We've got the last faction sort of uh, on the ropes. This playthrough, however, is going a little bit differently, and I think that's because the Imperial Guard are more of a late game faction than the Space Marines are. So we still have two faction, two enemy factions left on the board. And we're not really in a position to end this campaign anytime soon. Well, at least not uh, within the next couple episodes. Uh, the orcs are in a bit of a tough spot here. We've got them backed up to what I believe is their final city. But the space marines, we have not even seen their city yet. So obviously it's going to be a little while before we're able to do anything with them. But, we're going to keep pushing on. So, let's get to it. We're going to go ahead and advance our turn and see what the enemies can throw at us. We've got land speeders here, and then obviously the orcs have all sorts of stuff down there. Um, my Psyker just got shot up really bad. But it looks like Overwatch killed those uh, Kilikans pretty quickly. Uh, and there is a Predator tank there. All right. Well, I'm going to pull you back into cover, I think. Let's get you to here. We're going to need you to heal a little bit. Actually, you can just pop your med kit. That is just fine. So go ahead and utilize that. You can fire on them. What can you do for me? Right now, absolutely nothing. So just stay there, I guess. And yeah, I think we're going to just kind of sit here and force them to fight on our terms. You can come down here a little bit. Uh, you can't quite get that kill. I mean, it's, it's possible we get it, but it's not likely. Now we weren't quite strong enough there. Now, if you moved up, no, nothing you, nothing you could do would help us there. Um, let's get this Hydra moving out. What's the fastest way to get you on the battlefield? Probably this way. Let's clear these. What do we got left? You are going to be in hold position. Basilisk. Where can I get you that would allow you to start firing on these guys? Because I want this orc city gone. I want it gone now. Let's see. Nothing really doing there. Can you hit the city from here? Obviously not. Okay, push up to there. You're not going to be able to do much this turn, but on the following turns, you're going to be able to start getting out a whole lot more hurt. You can move in here. Unfortunately, your grenades aren't going to be any good to us quite yet. Okay, so one more tile and you can get into firing position. Let's move you up to here. You're good where you are. You can fire from there. Go ahead and do that, please. Can you call in a... Okay, cycle, Psychic Maelstrom will do 10. And it looks like Molten Beam will also do 10. Do your Molten Beam first. You don't have any grenades, so just take regular shots. Uh, and I want both of you guys in the adjacency. Maybe you can soak some of those hits for us. You're going to continue to heal. That's all I need you to do right now. And really, you can't move forward from there. Okay. Oh, you can, just not very far. Okay, move up to here then. We'll try to squeeze you through. I kind of want you guys just hanging back. Yeah, just, just uh, hold there. You've already fired... Is that it? I think mean, that's it. Okay. Do we need any more guardsmen? Let's see. We're a bit low on ore. I don't think I want to spend any ore to just get more guardsmen, so let's end our turn there. They're going to spawn some mechs. If they fire on our vehicles, they can really hurt us, but if they fire on infantry, it's not going to be so bad. Now, it looks like they're targeting my Psyker over here. He is not in good shape. Hopefully that's all that hits him. Yeah, okay, so you made it through. If only just. No matter where I put you, you can't fire on that. That's frustrating. 
I think I'm going to need to retreat you for now. Uh, let's see. You guys do your thing. I'm going to pull you back to here. I wish you could go farther than that, but that's unfortunately all we got. I think you're out of range, though. I could be wrong, but I think they're good there. Let's move you up as well. And, yeah, those are the mechs. Okay, they're out of our field of view right now. So, oh, you can't attack from here. Okay, then, yeah, move up to there and start chipping in. Why is your movement so terrible? Right, because that is on a lower plane. I need you to go back the way you came. Sorry. Sent him the wrong way. Let's have you fire on that. Um, you should be able to engage pretty effectively from there as well. Unfortunately, you can't. I'm wondering if swapping you with the Commissar would be a good idea. Let's do that. So, switch. And that will allow you to take a shot here, albeit a slightly less than optimal one. And I'm going to run you straight up here and grab this. Go ahead and do what you can. It's not going to be much, but that's fine. You stand your ground. You can throw in a Molten Beam if you wanted to. 14.4, that would almost get us the kill. Or we could do six and get a little bit of health back. Let's see if we can get the kill here. We might get lucky and, and get it. No. We're close though. He'll probably fall back. I might pursue with the scouts just to see if we can get that kill and force them to uh, have to retrain that unit. Execute queued orders. Oh, that was the Basilisk. Right. Basilisk is firing. Um, this is going to be another one of those units that needs to be stationary in order to do good damage, so we're just going to have to let it sit. I don't need any more um, Mechanicus uh, Tech Priest right now, so I'm not going to bother with that. I'm not going to bother with it here either. We are getting more Basilisk, though. That I do care about. And I think for the time being, it's just going to be um, Oryx Tractors. Oryx Tractors all over the place. And the next time I have a chance, I'll get another tank commander because they are uh, effectively Lehman Russes with special abilities, so I, of course, want them. We need 60, yeah, we'll just hold off. Okay, uh, it's gonna fire on my guardsmen, that's fine, that's what they're there for. They just founded another city, the bastards, so we're gonna have to destroy that one too. Our frag grenades are now a little bit better, so at least there's that. And. What is this? Ah, you finished your building. Okay. Yeah, go ahead and clear out another tile. Let's get you moving in the proper direction this time. You can start raining some hell on this. Really? 2.8? I thought you'd do a lot better than that. Oh well. Uh, come on, game. Don't do that to me. 8.2 is not bad. 4.4 with the crack grenade, 8.7. That's as good as a heavy weapons team, so I'm definitely cool with that. You continue to fire, and I could drop in a bastion to help out. Hmm. Is that a good idea? Maybe not here. Let's move you around that way. I want to put it somewhere where it's going to be useful for more than just taking the city out. Okay, you should probably start healing yourself. You can continue to contribute there. Who's left? Heavy weapons. Do me a favor and run up. Oh, you're going to be just out of range. Well, we found their city at least. See if that will give you any better sight on it. No? There we go. Not much. Okay, but that is their city, it looks like. We could push up to these ruins. This will give us cover. They do have a Fortress of Redemption there, and that is something that we'll need to destroy. There's also one out there. 
So they have a bit of a perimeter set up. Hmm. How do we want to do this? I wonder if you would win that battle. I could put you adjacent and do bring it down. That's an option. Being very aggressive over here. But I don't know how we're going to do this any other way. And I think I'll send you over there to help out. I'm going to send you guys as well. We're going to basically just put everybody over here that isn't already fighting the orcs. Because I think we've got the orcs beat. I think it's just a matter of finishing them off. So, yeah, you go here. You're going to capture that and set up next to the fortress there. Unfortunately, it's not really anywhere for you to go. You might just have to make a mad dash for it. Actually, you could help out there. Because I do want to get as far forward as we can. We'll do something like that. Okay, so you're going to go ahead and do bring it down. We could also buy stuff. What is What do they charge us? Influence? Hmm. I don't want to spend my influence right now. Okay, use your ability. Five damage with a regular attack. Uh, I thought I selected a crack grenade there. 11.7 with a crack grenade, so I'm going to do that. You guys can go ahead and fire. You'll be buffed by that ability as well. You can chip in there, and then if you life leech it, I think you can kill it. And so that fortress is gone. Now, I was really hoping you'd be able to kill that pressure unit, but it's going to take a while before that thing's back to any semblance of full strength. Let's get you moved up as well. We're going to be kind of out in the open here, but my goal is to just get into these ruins as quickly as possible. If I have to you know, put ourselves in a little bit of danger to make that happen, I'm willing to accept that. I believe our intention was to do some ore extractors here, so let's get one of those going. And we need a new research project. So, that would be useful. Let's grab that now. And I'll probably put that on... The city down here was a little bit more focused on uh, resource gathering, so I think we'll put it on that one. Yeah, they're continuing to focus fire those guardsmen. We're getting attacked by chaplains as well. And there's a captain on the field. Great. Who did you attack? I'm just going to ignore this. There's no point in dealing with those. We had to deal with the one because it was in our face, but the other one I'm going to ignore. Alright, so, all of our firepower on this city. Because destroying it is all that matters. You keep moving out here. I don't know if that's going to be enough. You have frag grenades, which is not going to do it. I could move you here, though, and have you frag them, so that's an option. 2.9, 6.8. That might be enough to get them to run away. What can you do for me? Why is your damage so bad? Well, keep chipping away, I guess. You need to keep healing yourself. And that's really all we can do there. Oh, you haven't fired yet. 2 damage or 4 damage? Yeah, keep chipping away at that. Finally, we get you moving forward. More guardsmen moving out. Hydra, let's put you here. Right. How best to go about this? You need to get to here. You are still in range of that. So you probably will still get hit by it. You can move up to here. That will protect you from range attacks, but not from his melee attacks. But let's just go for it. Alright, so there's their one and only city. And it looks like the units that we've engaged are basically all they have. Uh, taking a lot of overwatch there. Unfortunately, he might go down fairly quickly. Which 
this you guys up. I really wish you could engage him without moving into adjacency, but fine. Uh, I don't like this. I don't like not having a counter to that captain. I really don't have a counter to either of these guys, to be honest. Uh, fire here. If you guys could pour in some shots as well. We'll try to just force him off the board as best we can. It's not going to do much, but we'll try it. What have we got left? You can throw a Molten Beam on him. That's going to do decent damage at least. And you can still attack, either for 0.4 or 0.2. Well, you may as well just attack normally then. Over here... Nothing doing. Let's advance. Okay. Oh, they just trained two more units. That will be fun. He's gonna sit back and heal. What are you guys trying to do? Did you just attack my sentinels in melee? I think that's what they did, yeah. That's what they did. You're going to attack my guardsmen. It looks like my psyker is... Oh, did you attack the psyker? Kind of hard to tell. Yeah, you did. Commissar is going to need to fall back. He's taking a lot of hits. So, let's put you here. You'll still be in the cover of the ruins, but you'll be out of melee reach. What can you do for me? I'd kind of rather use that on the captain. You could kill that land speeder outright, though. Okay, let's put you here. I think I'll move you up as well. I don't know that that helps me. Let's let's hold off for a second. You move up. We'll see if there's anything you can do from there. You may as well move up because you can't engage from where you are. That's going to put you in range of the city. Maybe not the best idea. Chip in there. And then I think you were able to get the remainder of that damage. Let's see, 2, 2, 1.3. Okay, so you take the kill then. That's one unit off the board. 0.3 or 0.3. Fire here. 0.3. What about with a frag grenade? 0.3. Okay. Hold on. Did that actually register? Yeah, it did. So that's useless. You could do two damage there, but it's not going to get us any closer to a kill on anything this turn. I would really like you to life leech the captain if I could make that happen. You may as well fire on that because that's all you can do anyways. Let's get you healing yourself. You haven't fired yet. Huh. I might need to kill the apothecaries first. So let's let's actually focus on them. Maybe that'll get them to retreat. And I'll put your shot over there. I really wish you could see something. And do that, I guess. Okay, so tile acquired. Uh, was this one up here, which was going to give us a small ore and energy bonus. I think we'll do one of each up there. Let's start with the ore, and we'll do the energy or the generator after. I actually benefit more from doing it there first, so Ariston going to cancel that. And I'm going to do it up here. Because, yeah, we'll get a plus 20 up there. So that makes more sense. And then we have another Basilisk. Where did that come in? Right here. Alright, well, um, start moving out. You're finally able to help out here. I think we've got the orcs, so start pushing that way. I think we've got the orcs. So you fire. Uh, you know what, you guys, you guys go first. You shoot. We need 5.8 damage to finish this off. 
you can actually get to kill the regular shot, so go ahead and do that. I actually should have seen that the Sentinels could do it. Uh, we didn't get it, actually. So can the Sentinels finish it here? Hopefully. Yeah, okay, so that's their main city down. That should really, really hamper their production. I don't know where I need to be in order to see this. Let's get you moving in that general direction. I might have you take a hit just for the sake of uh, scouting a bit here. Why can't you place this down? Oh, we don't have enough ore. Right. That makes sense. Okay. You've leveled up. I'm going to do a life leech. I'll put you there and have you leech them to death, maybe? Possibly? No. Still alive. Okay, Basilisk, your job is to finish them off then. And Heavy Weapons Team, where can you engage them? Alright, uh, go ahead and start, even though you're not going to be able to do a whole lot. And once we kill this, I think that's the end of the orcs. We got their main city, so again, their production is severely handicapped, but they are still technically alive until we deal with that. We have one unit left. If I put you here... I think you can life leech the captain. You can. Is that your best course of action? Uh, it's going to do more damage to him than anybody else, so go ahead. You might die, though, from me stepping you forward like that, but you are technically healing yourself in the process of doing it. You're building an ore extractor. You're building an ore extractor. And... I'd like for you to build one, but you can't yet. So, that's all we can do. Captain's gonna fall back. Hunter's gonna start lighting us up with missiles. Luckily, we're in cover of the ruins. Uh, there is a fortress in there. There's also the city firing on my Psyker, and it looks like the chaplain's gonna kill him. That's a real shame. And you're getting shot up pretty bad as well. Okay. Extraction quotas. Let's spend some influence to boost our extraction. What are you currently running? Are you running anything? No. We had a boost to production. I think right now, this is our biggest issue, so let's go with that. Obviously, you need to start moving out. We need you over here. I'll have to think about that. Hmm. Those apothecaries healed themselves. I'd like to try to kill them if we can. You're too wounded at the moment. Here's what we can do, though. Buff them. That'll give them additional damage output. Move you there. Move you here. 7.9 is looking pretty sweet, and then 7.7 .7 gets us the kill. However, I may as well move you guys up. So, we'll see if you can't do it first. Uh, apparently you couldn't move straight in there. I don't know why. Chip in. Uh, it doesn't look like you're going to get that kill. Maybe if I move you guys up, you can help with it. 1.5... Okay, I think we can actually get it with all these smaller units. They wouldn't have done a whole lot of damage to these larger units anyway, so I guess that's fine. And you can actually put a pretty significant turn on the chapel. So I will do that. And then you can chip in there as well. Uh, apparently so can you. Yeah, let's get you in there. We'll have you take a shot. It's not going to kill him, but he is going to definitely retreat now. So that takes both of their heroes out of the fight, and if we stay aggressive, we should be able to kill them before they are, you know, combat effective again. You need to continue healing. And let's see. I need you able to engage this. So do whatever you need to do to engage that. Perfect. You should probably get the heck out of attack range of that. Set you up here. I'm gonna ignore these. 
because they'll go neutral as soon as the orcs are dead. You can move there, you can move here, and you've already engaged. Okay. Go ahead and fire, fire, and you can fire as well, not that it's going to make a lot of difference. Cities. We have enough ore to build an extractor here, so let's do that. You are on the verge of finishing yours, as are you, so we'll just have to wait. He, uh, the Psyker doesn't cost any influence, so I'm going to retrain him. Or, sorry, he doesn't cost any ore, so I'm going to retrain him. It's only influence. I'll do that just to make sure it doesn't become a problem. I don't know that it will, but eventually it will, so let's just get it out of the way now. City's going to fire on my guardsmen up there. Captain's also re-engaging, so he's basically just doing it himself. Uh, they did hit us pretty good there, but they basically just traded their two hero units for attacks on my guardsmen. 6.3 is not bad. Let's make sure we get these kills first. Now we're doing a whole lot less damage without that buff. You have frag grenades. You have a crack available. So you move up first. Zero damage there. Wow. Do they have some sort of buff? I think they have some sort of defensive buff going on. And that's why they're so much more resilient. I imagine that's the yellow glow, possibly. Is there any way for me to see what they've got going on? Let's see. Extra infantry armor. But they've had that. Relentless. Rosarius. I think he already had that, too. Yeah, I'm not sure. Anyways, crack grenade for 0.8. And that looks like it'll be enough to get the kill. Perfect. Now then, uh, if you move up, you'll start getting shot at, but that's okay. Not a whole lot that you can do for me over there. Um, I need to move up. Yeah, why don't you scoop forward as well. And we'll see what you can do with your crack grenade. 0.2 or 5. We'll just have to see what the, the best outcome is there. You may as well heal yourself just to piss him off. Let's see, uh, we'll go with the accuracy bonus again. I'd like to pour all my fire on him. I mean, I don't want to have to do that, but I think I'm going to have to do that. And there's nowhere I can put you where you can engage him, so somebody's going to have to move up. You have the most health, but you've also taken some damage. I think we're just going to go ahead and do that. With you moved up, that allows me to get my heavy weapons teams into the fight once more, so let's do that. If you fire here, it's going to do 0.4, also 0.4. You've already acted. You haven't yet, so 0 0.1, 0 0.2, or 0.1, okay. Uh, none of that really makes a difference, so I might just have you heal on your turn? I don't know. Nah, just go ahead and try to chip in some damage. Okay, how best to do this? So that will help it. That will as well. You can't do a whole lot from there. You can. I mean, does that set him up to be killed? Oh, we got him. Okay. Well, that works then. So the captain's dead. They can retrain him. Hopefully, we've depleted their resources enough where they won't do that. Or they won't be able to for a while, anyways. And then let's see who still needs to go. You still need to go, but there's nothing you can do from there. So I might just keep you back. The alternative is to... I guess I could run you around over here because you could engage from that spot. It's better than sitting around, I suppose. Let's get you out there. You can continue firing on this. Uh, battle Wagon came out of nowhere. That unit won't die if we kill the enemy faction. It'll just turn neutral, so we won't have to deal with it regardless of what happens here. But let's continue focusing on the city first. us 
a lot. 10.5 or 10.5. Let's do the Psychic Maelstrom. Just because I don't know if I've used it yet and I'd kind of like to see it. 10.5. But we didn't get the kill. We'll skip you. And I really need you out on this front. Is that the best way through? We'll try that. Okay. So, orcs have a battle wagon, and that is pretty much it, except for the city itself, which is on the verge of death. The space marines have a single city. Obviously, that's all they're allowed. And a hunter. I think there was also a predator tank out and about somewhere. But we'll, we'll see. Um, I would rather you be there. Let's see. Um, you don't have crack grenades. You do. So why don't you move there? Oh, another fortress. You're going to get shot. Sorry about it. Let's move you up. You can engage the city. Uh, you can as well. Put you here. Let's maneuver you to there, because you'll actually be able to shoot from there. And I'm going to put you somewhere where you can buff a bunch of units. Hopefully that's a decent spot, although I think, yeah, that can actually engage you from there, so that might be an issue. 2.1, if we do crack grenades, 4.7, so let's do that. And you can help out there as well, you're not going to do a lot of damage to the building. Anyways. 8.4, let's, let's just try to put this thing down, 5.3, 10.6, yeah, let's do that, and you can fire there for some more damage, unfortunately, that leaves you, okay, if you move here, you can engage, 5.7, 3.1, ah, uh, go there, we killed the city, they can't train anymore more units, so that's our goal. I don't know where I want you, so for starters, let's put you here. Okay, um, that should be enough for the kill. And then we'll set our sights on this battle wagon. So orcs are defeated. Good riddance. I'm gonna need to get you into tree cover, I think. You fire there. Unfortunately, you can't see them from there. tricky. You have a Molten Beam, so I might be a little bit aggressive here and try to use it. Uh, you'll be better off rapid firing, so let's put you there. And I guess you can move here. Okay, so rapid fire. Molten Beam, if you don't mind. You fire there. You've already fired. Uh, you can chip in there, and that's about it. What can you do? Um, awaken Machine. I'd rather you repair it. Yeah, do that. And you were headed out west. So go that way. Okay. Still producing ore facilities. Same deal for you guys, right? Yeah. So really nothing doing there. And you're producing a Psyker as well as ore facilities. That's fine. We're going to try to save up our ore until we're producing a ton of it. Okay, that's going to fire on my guardsmen. Whatever. The hunter appears to have retreated and abandoned the city. Kind of a dumb move by the AI because the city's really all they have left. Uh, that has ignored my other units to go after the Basilisk. That does hurt, but we can we can make do. Uh, whoops! Oh right, I want another one there. So just cue that right back up. You need to keep moving. We'll put you here. We're gonna have to go through the trees a little bit. Uh, that will allow you to engage. What are your buffs? So plus ten percent damage for adjacent allied tank units. 
It's only going to work on the Predator, or sorry, the Predator, the Lehman Russ. It may work on the Hydra as well, but I wouldn't call that a tank necessarily. Although it does... I mean, the Chimera is not a tank either, but they use the same chassis. Either way, it'll work on the Lehman Russ, so let's do that. And then, I, do you get the buff too? I guess we should have checked. Whatever, we'll fire. Continue firing. Just everybody with everything you have. We take this down before they come back. Then it won't matter. I could maneuver you into there. I think we're just going to keep shooting for now, though. Actually, I should have done that, because I could have got these guys into adjacency. Whatever. Just keep shooting. And did you fire? You did. Okay. Oh, I should have used this. Well, I'll use it on the next turn. What can you do for me? Ah, uh, fine. Can you engage from there? No. You can from that spot, but that doesn't really help us. Hold on. I want you closer. That works for me, and I guess I can put you there. Okay. 2.5. It's not great, but every little bit counts. And with all of that, that should be enough. So basically, everything we have in it, if necessary, you can go in and finish it off. Not necessary. Okay. So we're good. Why don't you bless that again and heal it up? And it really wants me to train some more Mechanicus. I don't think that's going to be necessary. I'm going to actually remove that. New research project. Bulgrins, uh, grants damage reduction to ground vehicles. That would be pretty useful. I believe that's where we're going to end it for today. Uh, we made better progress than I was expecting. We were able to wipe out, wipe out the orcs entirely and basically get the space marines in a similar position to where the orcs were at the end of last episode and the beginning of this one. I wasn't sure that we'd be able to get on top of them so quickly, so it looks like we may be able to finish them off in the next episode. It'll really depend on how they're able to recover from this, or if they're able to recover from this, because obviously if they pump out a bunch of elite units really quickly here, then they might be able to push us back or at least delay us. But if they're not, then we're just going to keep laying into their city and that's going to be that. So we'll definitely see. But for now, thank you guys so much for watching. I had a great time playing some more Hammer 40k Gladius with you. And I look forward to seeing you guys back here for the next episode. Hey everybody, Brett from Astardes Gaming here, back with another episode of our Warhammer 40k Gladius Relics of War Let's Play. Where in the last episode, we were able to defeat the orcs um, and wipe out any of the remaining units, or at least the ones that we're aware of. And um, to the west, we were able to significantly push back the Space Marines all the way to their one and only city. And we've put some decent fire on the city itself, so it looks like in today's episode we will be able to defeat them. So this very well might be the last episode of this campaign. Um, I don't know that we'll be doing too much Warhammer 40k Gladius beyond this. We've already played uh, a little bit of the you know, pre-release beta, and then two full campaigns of the release version as two of the four factions. So unless there's a ton of demand for me to play as one of the other two factions, which are the Orcs and the Necrons, I think we'll probably leave it at that for the time being. Uh, we could always come back to it, of course, but um, it seems like with where viewership and stuff is on this particular series now, um, that will probably be it for Gladius. Uh, there is still plenty of 40k stuff on the channel though, of course, if that's what you guys are into. Um, by the time this episode airs, I think we'll be starting the second part of our Dawn of War 2 Let's Play, which of course is the uh, Chaos Rising expansion. And we also have the Imperial Guard Rimworld set settlement that's been running for a very long time. And, uh, of course, there's always other things going on, too, so there'll be plenty of stuff to watch, don't you worry. Let's go ahead and get started. I'm going to go ahead and end our turn. 
we're going to take some fire from the various buildings here. They're splitting their fire up, so luckily for us, it didn't end up doing a whole lot. This hunter could kill a unit here. Uh, they fired on the sentinels, which ended up not doing much. If they fired on the guardsmen, they might have gotten a kill, but they decided to split their fire, and so it didn't work for them. Right, so let's go ahead and use Bring It Down. That's going to give everybody here a armor penetration bonus, which is going to let us do a lot more damage. 10.6 on a regular guardsman shot. Uh, 9.7. That's actually kind of wimpy for you. Uh, but everybody just keep shooting at this city. That's all we care about. Destroying the city. You are going to use your med kit because they seem to want to shoot at you, and so we're just going to troll them by continually buffing you over and over. I should have moved you before I did that because I've prevented you. Oh, we got it anyway. Okay. And there's our victory. Wow. Okay, I didn't think it would happen that quickly. Um, all right then. Okay, well, I don't know what to do with the rest of this episode then. So, what I'm going to do is I think I'm going to splice this onto the end of episode 9. And we'll go ahead and just leave it all at that because there's really no point in me making this into episode 10 if uh, this is it. So yeah, that's what I'll do. But uh, it was fun playing as the guard. I've got to say between the two factions, I found the guard to be a little bit more strategically demanding than the Space Marines. With the Space Marines, my strategy pretty much came down to rushing the enemy because most of them had me um, beat in terms of like long-range firepower, especially when I was playing as the Marines against the Guard. With the Guard, I had a little bit more tactical options. I didn't have the super beefy units that the Space Marines did, like the, the Captain and the Chaplain, who can take like an infinite number of hits. So it forced me to be a little bit more honest in my play style. I found it to be fun, but I think both campaigns were a lot of fun. I, I don't know if I could recommend one faction over the other, but they're both enjoyable. So anyways, thank you guys for sticking around through this campaign. Um, again, if there's any more from this game you'd like to see, let me know. If there's any other 40k stuff you'd like to see on the channel, let me know. But again, there is other stuff happening already. And so with that, thank you guys so much for watching. I had a great time playing some Warhammer 40k Gladius with you. And I look forward to seeing you back here for whatever's next.